Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really nice laptop from Gateway, and it's called the Gateway NV53, and uh, let me show you uh, some of the features that it has. This is a really good multimedia laptop because uh, it has a really good processor. It has an uh, AMD Athlon 2X2 M300 dual core processor, and uh, it has a processing speed of 2.0 gigahertz. Um, it also has a 15.6 inch screen with a 16 to 9 um, aspect ratio, and some people think that 16 to 9 is 16.9 size, they're wrong. It means 16 to 9 is another word for um, widescreen. It also has 500 gigabytes of hard, uh, hard drive space, and it has 4 gigabytes of DDR2 memory. Um, it has a webcam built in up here, and it has a microphone right there. And um, let me show you some of the other features that it has. This laptop is equipped with a Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit operating system. And I think that's really cool. It has a bunch of new features with it that uh, Windows Vista didn't have. And um, the touchpad is really cool. Uh, some people complain that it's uh, ultra-sensitive. That's a bunch of junk. It's really good touchpad. And uh, the bar, the, the left and right is one bar. So just click right there, click right there. No, it also says Gateway right there. And that's the touchpad. Gateway packed in a really nice uh, keyboard into it. It's kind of flat, but uh, you can you will get adjusted to it. And what's really rare to find on some laptops is the fact that it has a number pad right here. So um, I thought that was a really cool way. If you uh, wanted to work with the calculator, you can work with it that way. Up top, there are a bunch of uh, touch-sensitive buttons. Um, the first one there is is there's one that says P on it. You can um, adjust it so that it can open up any program that you want to. Mine opens up Windows Internet Explorer. Um, this one right here should show a picture of like a piece of paper with an arrow to another piece of paper. It's just another uh, button used for backing up files. This one looks like um, a bar with a bunch of radio waves coming off of it. That's for your internet. You can turn it on and off your internet. Uh, this is for your touchpad, so if you're using an external mouse, you can press that to deactivate your touchpad and, and then press it again to turn it back on. And here's your mute button, your volume down button, and your volume up button. On the left side of your laptop, there should be a hinge right here. It doesn't have any use, I don't think. Right here is uh, where you plug in your power cord, your um, Ethernet cable, uh, a cable if you're going to plug it into another uh, monitor, and it has an HDMI port so you can plug it into your HDTV if you're making a really cool video. It has two USB 2.0 ports on this side and it has a microphone port and I think that's a headphone port right here. You can uh, pull this out, click it in and pull it out. And um, this is a SD card port. You can just put that back in. On the right side of the laptop there should be your uh, DVD CD drive that you can open by pressing this little button. And I don't think it opens if the computer's not turned on. Right here you have two more USB 2.0 ports and a modem port. I'm not sure how fast it goes. And right here there's a power button. And some people have difficulty um, figuring out how to turn on your computer. You just press the little power button right there. The top is very smooth and very sleek. And I got mine in the night sky black color. And it doesn't have any texture. It's um, just completely flat. But it also has like a really cool finish to it. Looks kind of like honeycomb. Some people describe it as. And up here, there should be your little, a little strip that says Gateway on it in um, Chrome. Right there. Uh, this computer is equipped with a six-cell battery that you can take out just by pulling down this little lever right here, and you can push this lever right here, and then you can pull out your battery. Yeah. Looks like that. And you can. I'm pretty sure you can um, call Gateway and they can order you a 9-cell battery. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I think it's a really good um, big battery. It stays on for about two and a half hours. That's all I got out of it.
So all in all, it is a fantastic laptop. Uh, I got this one from Best Buy for four ninety nine, and it's a great deal for a great laptop. Um, if you hope this, uh, I, I hope that this helped you out, and if you liked it or uh, considered buying it because of this video, please send me a message or leave a comment or something. I really like to know your input. Thanks.